Hi everyone, I'm Jenna Knox. I am the mom of a three-year-old boy named Liam and one-year-old triplet girls named Kaylee, Cecilia, and Lily. We're putting out videos on our channel. It used to be every week, but since the pandemic, it's been like more like once or twice a month. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you know when we're putting new content out. We're catching you up on our lives when we can. You can go back and watch our other videos dating all the way back almost a year ago when I posted our pregnancy story where we didn't know we were having triplets until less than a month before our girls were born. So be sure to check that out. Fast forward a year later and what I want to talk to you about today after we survived our first year with triplets I would like to give you my top five must have items for babies especially for taking care of multiple babies um, disclaimer I am NOT endorsed or paid by any of these companies this is just my 100% honest opinion of what was the most helpful to us when you're taking care of babies and especially when you're taking care of twins, triplets, multiples. Any kind of product that makes your life easier or simplifies things is a lifesaver. I will list all of these items as well as some honorable mentions that I'm going to touch on in the description below with links to everything. I also reached out to a group of triplet moms to find out what their top five must have items were and I'm going to list those at the end of the video. Interestingly enough, the most recommended items that I heard from the other triplet moms almost completely match my top five. So I'm gonna get into those first. By the way, if you're not in the market for baby products, but you love pictures and videos of cute babies, then you're in the right place. Stick around, because you're gonna see actual footage of our babies using these products. So my first item coming in at number five is the Docketot. If you've watched some of our earlier videos from when the babies were newborns, you may have seen them sleeping in the Docketots and that's where they spent so much of their time when we first brought them home from the hospital. I've gotten a couple comments and questions in the past asking me, is it worth it for the Docketot? Because they are pretty pricey and we were really lucky that we got gifted all three of our Docketots before the babies were born. And um, when they came home from the hospital, we really kind of just set up camp in our living room and we had the Docketots laid out and the girls napped most of the day in those Docketots. We were also incredibly fortunate that we had some night nanny service to help us with the girls at night. So the girls even slept in those Docketots when the night nannies were there. Um, we did not have approval from our pediatrician for them to sleep in those unattended, um, but luckily we had our nanny, our night nannies there um, who could watch over the girls while they were sleeping. And um, for the first few months, um, like I said, they slept in those docketots. Um, once we made the jump to move them into cribs in their nursery, um, we really weren't using the docketots as much anymore. Um, but I do know a lot of parents that have used the docketots for many months. Um, it's not recommended to use it as a sleeper or a co-sleeper, but I know a lot of parents do use it that way. Um, so it's up to you to, you know, read the information, talk to your pediatrician and find out what this, what's safe. I've talked to other moms who've used the Docketots for travel and even on an airplane and having the baby sleep in the Docketot across their laps. What was really nice for us too, having three babies at once, when we weren't using the Docketots, we could just stack them up. Um, and push them away in a corner when we weren't using them. Um, so it's coming at number five for me because we didn't have a lot of longevity with our use of the Docketots, but in the beginning, it really was helpful to have those and our babies loved sleeping in them. Honorable mention here goes to the Halo Sleep Sack, which you can see Cecilia is wearing one on the right side of this picture and the girls started wearing the halo sleep sack when they were even in the NICU and they make them in preemie sizes starting with the sleep sack swaddles which has the velcro that wraps around them for their arms to be swaddled in and once they get to the point where they are starting to roll and you don't want them swaddled 
um, you can just use the Halo Sleep Socks without the Velcro swaddle. So our girls take every nap in their Halo Sleep Socks and um, they wear them at night as a wearable blanket. And we've used these honestly for years. When Liam was a baby, our pediatrician recommended the Halo Sleep Sack and um, Liam wore the Halo Sleep Sack until he was probably like two and a half and we made his uh, toddler bed where he could actually use blankets. So there's so many sleep sacks and um, swaddles out there. We've tried multiple ones, but the ones that we've used the most are the Halo Sleep Sacks. Our number four must-have item is the Boppy Lounger. Uh, pretty much every Mama Triplets I know uses the Boppy Loungers, and an honorable mention here goes to the Leechco Podster, um, and we used both of those. Um, in terms of the actual product, I prefer the Leechco Podster, just how cushiony it is and the way it really hugs the baby. All of my babies have loved um, lounging in that uh, Leech Co. Podster. But the Boppy loungers that we were able to use for longer, I feel like they outgrew the Leech Co. Podsters earlier. The Boppy loungers I was still using for feeding until they were over a year old. It's the other reason the Boppy loungers are so high on the list is for feeding. When you are trying to bottle feed three babies at once, um, once they get old enough to where you can prop them up with a bottle, it's huge to be able to put all three babies on the boppy loungers, prop them up with their bottles. We used the willow pillow, which is what you see in the videos of them feeding, to prop up their bottles and you could feed all three at once in the boppy loungers and they were doing that, like I said, until we transitioned them off of the bottle. My number three must-have item is the Baby Care Playmat, which also comes with a gate playpen that you can set up around the perimeter of the playmat, and which is fairly easy to um, assemble and put away when you don't need it. We use the Baby Care Playmat as our living room rug, if you will. Um, it's nice and soft for them to play on and have tummy time on and humble around and fall down on. It's one solid piece as opposed to the tile um, play mats you see that you can put together and then stack up and put away. Um, but that baby care play mat is in our living room all the time. It's I love the pattern and it just functions as our living room rug. I also loved it so much that I purchased one for the girls nursery as well. When the girls were just starting to be mobile around six or seven months and learning to crawl, we did use that um, play pen set up around the play mat quite a bit just to be able to have a safe space to contain them in. When you've got three babies that want to go in three different directions, it can be really overwhelming. So it was good to have some times of the day to have them contained within that safe space and then other times of the day where we would uh, just let them explore. Definitely when I had help in multiple hands to watch all three babies. Uh, now that they're bigger and walking around, they have really outgrown the playpen. We don't use it anymore. We um, just have the play mat for them to play on. I've done yoga on the play mat. It works great for that. And um, it becomes a dance floor probably at least once a day. couple of honorable mentions and some of the footage you've seen the girls sitting in the Baby Bjorn bouncers. I love these as a bouncy seat for the babies. They also stack up kind of nice when you're not using them, which is good for having multiple babies. We used those from when the girls were newborn until they were probably almost a year old. They are pretty pricey, but they hold up and last so long, so you can probably find a used one in pretty good condition to save some money. Another honorable mention, speaking of play pens, is the Regalo Play Yard, which we use as a portable play pen when we're on the go, going to the park, going to the beach. Again, our girls at this age just really want to run free and roam around, but it's so important for us to have a safe space to be able to put them in. If 
if I need a break from chasing them around or if it's time for a snack or something like that. It's so easy to use and we love that too. Number two item is a huge lifesaver. It is the Baby Breeza Formula Pro. One of the most common questions I see pop up on triplet forms is, is the Baby Breeza Formula Pro worth it? And the answer is always a resounding 100% yes. When you have multiple babies on formula, anything that's a time saver that makes your life easier, like this machine is 100% worth it. Honorable mention goes to the Dr. Brown's formula pitcher, which you also see here. And I used both simultaneously because I had one of my babies, Cecilia was on a different type of formula. So I would mix two bottles at a time with the formula pluro and then have a pitcher ready for, um, for my third baby um, who needed a special formula. And the Dr. Brown's pitcher is also great for when you're traveling or on the go and not wanting to take the whole uh, formula machine. The pitcher is a really good thing to have on hand. For my number one item, we're going to get into strollers. And I want to start with my honorable mentions and kind of take you chronologically how we ended up with our number one choice. We started with our first honorable mention, the triplet stroller, which is made by Pig Perigo. We were so lucky we were gifted a Pig Perigo stroller by another triplet family who had outgrown it. We took that stroller everywhere in the beginning because you could snap the car seats into it. And when they were so little and needed, they needed to be into those infant car seats, um, we took the stroller to the doctor's office on walks around the neighborhood, outings. We used that a lot in the beginning. We were so glad we had that stroller. Um, once the girls got a little bit bigger and they didn't need to be in the infant car seats, um, we got the Zoe stroller, which is our second honorable mention. We were gifted that from Kyle's aunt and it was fun to be able to walk around the neighborhood with the Zoe stroller and not have to have the girls be in the car seats. So that worked for us for a while as a triple stroller. We still have that, but my number one pick for strollers and my number one pick overall for having triplets is the Wonderfold Wagon. Some of the things that I love about it is that I could put all four kids in it. Liam can ride in the wagon too, which is a nice option to have. Most of the time he likes to run around himself, but it's good to have that option and he does like to ride in there with his sister sometimes. The way the girls can sit up facing each other and interact with each other and be able to look all around makes it really nice. It also folds up really nicely and fits easily into the back of our minivan. It's a little bit heavy, but I am able to do it by myself and we take it pretty much everywhere. You can't take it some places that don't allow wagons. Disneyland, for example, when we went to Disneyland earlier this year, we took the Zoe stroller. Um, but other places like the zoo, we take the wagon and we love it. Before we go, as promised, here is a list of the most recommended items from when I surveyed other triplet moms. These are the ones that came up the most. As I said before, a lot of them match my recommendations and some of them don't. And there's a lot of products out there that I don't have experience with. I'm listing those here and including the links in the description as well. So if you have any questions, you want to know more about any of these products or my experience with them, please feel free to reach out in the comments or if you have other recommendations that you'd like to put in the comments below, please do. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.